So, moving on to the first question, a researcher visualizes chromatin under electron microscope and finds densely packed regions. So, these are most likely heterochromatin. So, heterochromatin are condensed and they appear darker. Okay. So, that is what? And, and it is transcriptionally inactive. Yeah. And moving on to the next question, which chromatin type is transcriptionally active and sterically accessible? So, euchromatin, which is less condensed and hence it is more active. So, it is less condensed and lighter and transcriptionally active. In which chromatin type would you expect low acetylation and high methylation? So, low acetylation, it means low activation and it will be mostly heterochromatin, which is inactive. The barbary seen on the edge of the nucleus is mostly inactivated X chromosome. And the next question is, a patient with a mutation preventing H1 histone binding may have issues with chromatin fiber stability. So the other answers are unlikely. So it will be chromatin fiber stabilization. DNA methylation generally leads to Gene silencing. So, methylation, it makes the DNA mute. And that's what you can remember. A gene on X chromosome is methylated and not expressed. So, this is most likely due to genomic imprinting. So, DNA is methylated and imprinting and mostly within CPG islands. A mutation in CPG island methylation may lead to dysregulated gene silencing. So that is what the next question about. In fragile X, DNA methylation is dysregulated. So that is what has been given here. Um, yeah. Which modifi modification promotes gene activation? So activation it means acet acetylation. So histone acetylation activates the DNA, and deacetylation deactivates DNA. A thyroid hormone receptor mutation affects acetylation. So, affecting histone acetylation means it is getting deacetylated. So, it will be leading to inactive chromatin. Removal of acetyl groups. So, uh, removal of acetyl groups, it will be causing tightened DNA coiling and therefore it will decrease the transcription. Which amino acid residues are typically methylated in histones? So, in histones, uh, they are large and they have mostly positive charge, which, uh, which you can remember it as hull, that is lysine and arginine, which is associated with reversible transcriptional suppression. So, it is methylation. So, it will be suppressing the transcription. Which of the following occurs during S phase? So, mostly synthesis for S phase and DNA in histone synthesis occurs during that. Which enzyme would increase histone acetylation? And acetyl transferase, so therefore the other options are unlikely. So histone acetyl transferase will be the answer. A compound inhibiting histone deacetylase would likely. So inhibiting the deacetylase, so therefore it will lead to acetylation. So it will increase the gene expression. Which chromatin form is visualized lighter on electron microscope? So as I have already said, Euchromatin, which is less condensed, it appears light on electron microscope. Which chromatin form is, yeah, that we have already discussed. A patient shows gene imprinting errors. So this implies, I mean, uh, it implies errors in methylation. Which structure allows nucleosome formation? So this, this is what nucleosome is about. H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Except H1, so everything else is involved in forming nucleosome formation. Which molecule gives DNA its negative charge? And the line, exact line is here. DNA has negative charge from phosphate groups. Which protein helps stabilize DNA loops between nucleosomes? And it is H1 histones. It binds to the nucleosomes and it stabilizes the chromatin fiber. Mitochondrial DNA is unique because it is circular and it has its own DNA. Which histone modification silences gene expression? So deacetylation, it deactivates the DNA. So therefore silences gene expression. Euchromatin differs from heterochromatin in that it is loosely packed and transcriptionally active. What is true about histones? 
it is positively charged and rich in lysine and arginine histone methylation effect depends upon the location of methyl groups on histone so it is given here it can it also can can cause activation depending on location of methyl groups which is least likely involved in gene silencing so least likely involved in gene silencing so activation so hence uh, acetylation will not be involved in silencing which chromatin change activates thyroid hormone response so activation hence it is acetylation a female has two visible bar bodies likely diagnosis so 3 minus 1 hence it is two visible so it will be therefore it will be triple x chromosome and hence that will be the answer